changing the outgoing rule in the SmoothWall firewall. Firewall services in the SmoothWall are located in Network, Firewall, Firewall Rules. On initial setup, the SmoothWall firewall contains two default rules. The firewall applies rules from top to bottom, so that the logic of the top rule supersedes the one below it, and so on. The first default rule allows everything from the internal network to the Internet. The second default rule, in the catch-all section, blocks all traffic in and out so that anything which is not specified in the rules that you create above it will be blocked. The first rule, which allows all outbound traffic, would be commonly used for an environment such as an office, where all of the users are responsible for the material they upload and the apps they use. This rule would not block tools such as UltraSurf or VPNs, which could be used to bypass the smooth wall filtering and connect directly to the Internet. Within a school or environment where it's necessary to protect children or vulnerable people, it's common to set up rules to allow specific services or applications access to the Internet and then change this default rule to block all other outbound traffic. If your smooth wall contains guardian filtering, blocking all traffic in this way will only allow traffic through the guardian or any specific rules you've added above. To change a rule, hover over the rule and select Edit. In this case, as we still want to use the rule to apply for all outbound traffic, it's not necessary to change any of the field other than to change the action from Accept to Reject. There are three actions available for firewall rules. Accept will allow traffic through. The firewall has a stateful tracking, which means that it tracks connections. The SmoothWall firewall knows if it has allowed a connection out, and if so, it recognizes it and allows it back without the need for you to specify an associated incoming rule. Reject prevents traffic access and sends a message, ICMP destination unreachable, back to the request originator, informing them that the traffic was not allowed. Drop silently prevents traffic going through the system, but it does not inform the originator that the traffic has been rejected. Drop is typically used on internet-facing connections to protect against stealth attacks pinging random addresses to establish if there is something at the end to attempt an attack. In this case, as we are rejecting traffic from internal networks to external, they are all devices on our own network that will be getting this message. It is beneficial in this case to use reject as there is a benefit that the reject message will make it easier to troubleshoot. Ticking the log tick box includes the rule within the firewall logs. This can be helpful to check that the rule you've just created is operating as you'd expect. There is an option to add a comment to your rule. Click Save Changes and the rule will be created.